Hi guys, it's Sophie. So I just wanted to do a wrap up of my Read Harder Challenge so far this year. Um, so as many of you probably know, Book Riot do a sort of annual now um, Read Harder Challenge. So recommending sort of ideas or topics that might be different and outside of your comfort zone. So I was a little late to join their Read Harder 2015 challenge, but I am jumping into the 2016 challenge. And I just wanted to do a little bit of a review of what I've read so far um, of the Read Harder Challenge and give you an idea if I have any sort of ideas for the titles that are upcoming. So for the challenge read a horror book I chose Cujo by Stephen King. For read a book originally published in the decade you were born I chose John Burnside's The Dumb House. For read a book over 500 pages I chose The Familiar Part 2 by Mark Z. Danielowski. For read a dystopian or post-apocalyptic novel I chose Wittgenstein's Mistress by David Markson. For read a book under 100 pages long, I chose Hiroshima by John Hersey. For listen to an audiobook that won an audience award, I chose Chasing the Devil by Sergeant John Ryshek. For read a book about religion, fiction or non-fiction, I chose Islam and the Future of Tolerance by Sam Harris and Majid Nawaz. For read a book about politics, in your country or another country, I chose One Child by Mei Fong. For read a non-superhero comic that debuted in the last three years, I chose Everything as Teeth by Joe Sumner. For read a non-fiction book about feminism or a book dealing with feminist themes, I chose Why Women Need Quotas by Vicky Price. And for read a book with a main character with a mental illness, I chose White is for Witching by Helen Yemi. So those are the ones I've covered off so far this year. I think I'm doing pretty well um, and I'd hope to finish it by midway through the year rather than at the end of the year. If I manage that, I will then take on the 2015 reading challenge on the end, just because I read an awful lot of stuff. I think I could probably do two years in one go. And for any books looking further ahead, the only one I'm sure of at the moment is Read a Biography, which can't be a memoir or an autobiography, and that is most dangerous. So that's what I'm kind of looking at uh, so far this year. Still a lot of challenges to go through. There's a few that I could have really mismatched um, and fitted a, fitted a few more categories in from what I've read so far. But I've just gone with, you no, know, I'd, I'd rather read more widely. Um, and I don't want to sort of skew things around just to make it easier for myself. Um, a good one would be, I think there's one that's read from an author from Southeast Asia, and Mei Fong comes from Malaysia, which is in Southeast Asia, so I could use that um, and, and choose a different one for politics, which is probably easier. Uh, but I think, I'd, no, I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to try and find some translated fiction instead. So let me know how many of you guys are doing the Read Harder Challenge. Um, I always think those videos are great fun to watch. I think BookRite does a really good job of recommending things for us to read. So if you're doing it, let me know. And what have you read so far? What challenges have you found difficult? Are there any ones that you've read that you just thought were brilliant and a topic that maybe I haven't read through yet? Have a lovely weekend and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.